In this video, we will share some tips on how to speed up the app performance while working in 3D. By default, the app works with the Enabled Lights and Shadows option. It means that all light sources, shadows, and reflections will be present in a 3D view. The more light sources and reflective surfaces you add, the more time it takes to render a scene. And depending on the project, you may notice that your movement became a bit more sluggish. That's a sign that some optimizations are required. Here's what you can do. Disable the Lights and Shadows option. By doing this, you increase the speed of your movement in 3D, while the render quality remains sufficient for the normal work. You may always enable this option again when good quality screenshots or videos are needed, or you simply want to see a scene in the best quality. But you really do not need photorealistic images during the modeling routine. In most cases, disabling the lights and shadows option solves all issues with sluggishness. But if it doesn't, consider doing one of the following. 1. Make sure the scene is not overloaded with, so to say, heavy 3D objects. These are objects that contain excessive number of triangles. Usually such items are imported into the project from online 3D resources. These objects may significantly decrease movement speed. Even opening such projects after saving the work may become painfully slow. Extremely detailed items should always raise your suspicion. The Type and Representation dialog lets you decrease the object's level of detail and improve the program response as a result. 2. Draw walls carefully. Red circles on the floor plan indicate places where walls join improperly. Fixing these issues will speed up your project. 3. Objects shouldn't plunge into the floor, ceilings, or walls. To be sure that an object is properly placed, activate the Glue By, appropriate object side, option and move the object around to let it snap to a floor, ceiling, or other nearby surface. 4. Make 3D view window size as small as possible for comfortable work. This is effective for computers with limited video memory. If you keep the lights and shadows option enabled and still want to speed up work in 3D, here's what you can do. In the app preferences, set shadow casting lights to nearest to or nearest for. This way, you limit the number of light sources that are taken into account when rendering the current 3D scene. Turn off light sources located outside the room you're working on, and those which aren't critical for the current 3D scene. You can control light sources in the Light Properties tab of the inspector. Don't use too many reflective materials. The program performance can decline if you apply reflective materials to a large number of objects. Hide objects that aren't critical for your current work, or those that are invisible from the current point of view. Use the project tree to make objects visible and invisible. For example, if you have several trees outside the house, hide them while you're editing the interior. Deactivate the Cast Shadows option in the inspector where possible. Shadows may not be visible in the following circumstances. When a flat object is attached to a bigger one, a picture on a wall, or rug on the floor, an object is very small, pen on a table, one object is inside another, books on a bookshelf, or a TV set in a niche. There may be other cases as well. Since all programs that run simultaneously share the computer resources, Make sure that you quit programs you don't use. A more radical measure would be to reboot your computer and launch only Live Home 3D or as little programs as possible. This will let Live Home 3D use maximum available computer resources. Well, that's it for now. We will continue with useful Live Home 3D tips and tricks in our next videos to make your work as smooth as possible.